So I'm Tim McClung, um, and uh, owner of Golden Gravel Cycling. I'm here to interview Chris and Michael. They are the co-owners of Crane Brewing, and we're going to get to know them. We're going to learn about their business, and uh, we're going to have a good time. So let's get started. So, Michael, do you want to go yeah. first? And sure. So, um, name's Michael Crane. Uh, partners with uh, Chris Myers, uh, and the co-founders of Crane Brewing. So we, we sort of met through the home brewing community back in uh, the end of 2013. Chris had been wanting to start a brewery for a long time and um, like I said we met through the home brewing community and uh, started talking about starting a brewery together mm -hmm. and I was in another business before but had the opportunity to sell the other business and together we decided to start the brewery and uh, a longtime accountant Jason Lauk um, I said well you know we need to get someone to help us with the financials on a uh, on the business plan and brought in Jason and the three of us together started putting together all the plans for the brewery and uh, we introduced Crane Brewing to the public in April 2014 at the Parkville Micro Brew Fest. And the response was tremendous. And it made it relatively easy. Jason raised a lot of funds from investors. And we spent the rest of 2014 going to beer festivals and uh, doing charity events. And um, started building the brewery in 2015 and distribution uh, in December of 2015. Yeah, we got pretty fortunate, like we've got a timeline, I think a lot of things had to kind of fall into place. Doing the beer festivals and charity events we did at Home Brewers got in touch with the first distributors and we were able to sign for a distributor before we even started brewing and that, that, that doesn't always happen very often, but it really justified our business plan and was able to get the ball moving. Yeah, actually, um, at the Parkville Micro Brew Fest in, uh, in 2014, the excitement around what we were doing, most of the, all of the distributors came to us. Yeah. Really? And uh, very aggressively came to us about <laughs> wanting to distribute our beer. Really? So, so, the, so the, you guys went to Parkville and you took kind of your brews. So what you guys are known for, your sours that you guys were talking about in the- in Happened the to have a lot of really great, wild, you know, complex, special beers already at that time. Okay. So that, that really, I think, kind of put a, a, sh a light on us to, to stand out that day. From 2012, to like, you said that was in 2015. No, right? that was the end of 13 that we, we met each other right. and spent most of 2014 just brewing beer in my basement like we've been doing <laughs> for a while and except started brewing a lot more beer together. Yeah. That's awesome. And, uh, and then we uh, went to every opportunity we had to, to pour samples. We, we started kind of backwards. Most breweries open a tap room, kind of raise money, get their name out, build the business, and then go into distribution. We knew we wanted to be in distro from day one, especially with the, the size of project we had in mind. Um, and not also understanding the different scales there could be for breweries. You know, there's much breweries much bigger than us that have started and much smaller than us since then. Um, but so we, we started in in uh, Kansas in 2015 and then hit Missouri the next year. And since then we've shared beers with almost every state that touches Missouri. Really? Just kind of pockets here and there, people who are interested in what we're doing. Um, but then we opened our tap room about a year later. And so then finally had a public space where people could actually visit, you know, do the tour, meet us, see what we're doing. So now was that this facility or was that yep. somewhere else? It was right here. And the, the significance of the tap room now is very much highlighted by the Rock Island Trail, oh, yeah. which is literally 60 feet from our front door. We've we've always been a destination place. You know, it's been nice because we're kind of central to the city. Yeah. We're close to the zoo. We're the closest brewery to the stadiums. Yeah. Um, but now having actually walking and bike traffic has been incredible. Yeah. Uh, on a warm day, it's uh, not uncommon to see 50 bicycles leaned up against the side of the. Yeah, I've noticed that. When I've come through here before, you guys, I, during the summer, I think you had a, a bike rack, and there was just, just one right after another. Right, right. Yeah, we're looking at putting in some bike racks, too, yeah. with uh, working with Bike Stop on that. Okay, that's awesome. So, um, so, you start, so then, so 2016 was when you guys started here. Is that about right? Was that when you guys came here? So you've been doing the tap room since then, and then just working on developing your distribution in the area, doing the tap room projects, and then kind of all the different projects and stuff you guys talked about in the tour back there as well. Yeah. 